Yo, what's going on guys? Of course, we are back in DaVinci Resolve Studio and today we're going to be making these viral reels that you see on Instagram and TikTok. Um, how to save the presets so you have them uh, for later use and how to add some additional features that will just enhance your uh, views and hopefully get you a viral video. So let's jump straight into it. So here's a clip from a project I did last year. Um, this video ended up getting 20k views in the first week. Um, but what you want to do is come over to text plus, uh, drag that on your timeline, and this is where we're going to shape our layout um, and our typography. So I'm just going to write the word make, up the size, and change to a font that I use, which is Eurostyle Extended. I think you can find this on the internet somewhere. Um, there's a few different versions, but I like this sort of bold, thick version. I use it in a lot of my projects. Um, so if you want to use that, go ahead and try and look for that. Then we're going to jump over to the Fusion page. Uh, make sure you have your text plus selected. Click on the template and I'm going to head over to the center. And this is where we're going to make our animation and it's key that we do it on this layout page. Uh, this works and helps us for saving our presets later. But so I'm going to keyframe the end position and then drag to the zero uh, frame and just drag it down. Then I'm going to come to the spline, come to the displacement, click this little button. Then you want to highlight your selection like so and you then want to press shift S. Now click on your top spline and just drag this to the left um, and we should get an ease like this. This is pretty clean, very simple. I think sometimes the more simpler you are, the more effective uh, typography can look. So don't overdo it. Anyway, come back to the edit page and now we can see what we've uh, made. Now you want to move over to your settings tab and come down to the composite. And once again, we're going to just uh, change the opacity. So keyframe it down to zero move a few frames ahead and keyframe it back up to 100 and you should get this nice fade in. Now here's uh, an additional effect you can add on top, just a Gaussian blur and it's the same process. You want to um, start from zero frame and just simply keyframe it maybe five frames ahead where it blur fades in. Um, and I think the little details really help sell the effect but once again it's totally optional. Once you've done that, you want to come back to the settings uh, and make sure you're not on the title uh, layout or the title position. Make sure you're on the settings of the actual composition. So you can see here, I can now move it about and the animation stays the same and our keyframes don't mess up. And now once we've got this, we've got the fundamental template for our text and we can just simply duplicate and then move the position. Um, and if you want to change the font, you can come back into the title or the sizing. But just remember, on the title, do not change the layout position. Always change in the settings tab. Now, like I said before, it's the subtle details that help sell the effect. So I come in and I find uh, one of my text and I just change to a thinner font. And you see this a lot in the viral reels, sort of a mixed match of typography and fonts, uh, just to keep it fresh uh, and engaging for the viewer. Now that we've reached this position, we can go ahead and save our template for use uh, in later projects. So click on the file and let's rename this slide up or anything that fits the specific animation that you have done. And then you just simply drag to a text bin and like so you can now drag this on any other project. Now if you have a new project and you want to import this, first you have to export the bin, like so. And then in your new project, come and import the bin and all your effects should be there. And if you're using DaVinci Resolve guys, check out the full collection of my editing plugins at bluetooth.com. These tools seriously level up your workflow. From CRT, VHS and animated titles, I've got you covered. Now if you want to add some depth to the actual text by adding some color, come over to shading. And what I like to use is the gradient tab here. Um, go ahead and change the colors to your choice. Just another little bit of uh, added depth that makes um, certain keywords stand out. Now go to your effects and add drop shadow to uh, one of the keywords. This just elevates the text a little bit more, gives it a little bit more detail. Now go back to your effects and find vignette and let's add this to our base clip. I just want the text to stand out a little bit more and this vignette gives you the ability to do that. Now we're going to go and add an adjustment layer as we're going to add the final details with some grain and uh, some additional bit of blurring just to really finish this up. So let's head over to the color panel and let's find film grain in our effects uh, and add that on. Now play around with the settings to get something you like or alternatively just copy the values I've done. I want something quite bold, um, something that stands out. 
and this is what I ended up with. And that's it guys, that's the end of the tutorial, just the final piece. Um, this is a really quick and easy way to make your reel stand out and get that viral clip you're looking for. Easy to save the presets as well, which will give you the ability to work uh, with them on future projects. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, head over to bluetooth.com for our packs. If not, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.